Alright guys, I am currently one week out of the USAPL Raw Nationals in Colorado. And on this training day, I made sure every single rep and set was perfect, so I left the gym happy and satisfied and ready to kill it at Nationals. So I will be competing the 19th, but I'm leaving to Colorado the 15th, so I can smoke a lot, I mean, so I can get used to the altitude and the temperature changes, anything like that, that would mess me up on my competition day. So this is my first national meet. Previously, I've only competed in local meets, so for me this is a very big deal. I know it's going to be very crowded there. There's about 400 lifters, maybe more now, and I'm sure that they're going to be bringing their family and friends with them, so I'm not sure how much people to expect, but I'm definitely expecting it to be crowded. And I'm trying to really mentally prepare myself and try to visualize what everything's going to look like so there's really no surprises, even though it's very hard because I've never competed at a meet at this level. But yeah guys, I'm going to take a break from talking about nationals just for one second. And after this clip, there's a clip comparing a 495 squat that I hit in December and 495 that I hit today. Here, take a look right now. You know, I don't even think Dan Green can squat 495 that quickly. Shots fired, bang bang. Alright, so back to nationals. I'm really trying to get first place in my age and my weight class. I won't be happy unless I do that. And I'm also going to try to get a national record squat. But that's not the main objective. Hopefully that just comes with first place. And for me to get first place, I really have to make sure my depth on my squats are perfect. That's the only thing I have trouble with. I don't try to cheat depth. I don't I really just go until I feel my hip crease below my knee joint. But sometimes it's, it's so slight that the judge can't really tell and it looks just like parallel. So I'm going to have to do what I've previously done in the past meets, which is pretty much sink until I cannot go any lower and just muscle the weight back up. Because for me, after a certain point, I lose all my tightness at the bottom of the squat and it's me just muscling up the weight just to, you know, hit proper depth. As for the numbers and the total that I want to get, I'm going to keep that on the down low for now just to make sure you know, no one's watching my videos, trying to plan ahead of me and trying to use my videos to their advantage. Real quick before the video is over, thank you to my coach Clint Darden and to my family for not only supporting me, but for paying for my trip to Colorado. That means so much to me. Thank you for all the support. Peace out. Bye. You think that was cool?